about your root directory and how to access it using FileZilla. Now, after reading the blog post, once you have downloaded the FileZilla software to your desktop, you'll want to double click the icon to launch the software. This is the same practice that you've used over and over again to launch any other software application um, that you may have on your system. Great. Now that FileZilla is open, our second task is to learn how to log into FileZilla to access um, our hosting account. So in the hosting, simply you type in the domain name of your hosting. So for me, I use bluehost.com. I type in my username and I type in my password in these fields, then simply click click the quick connect and if all is well and your username and password are good then you're you'll be automatically connected to your hosting account I have chosen to store my hosting information into the FileZilla site manager so I'm going to quickly connect to my site great now these are all the files that are sitting in my Bluehost account the file folder that you're going to be concerned about for the purpose of this tutorial is the public HTML folder. Now, depending on which web host you've chosen, the name of this folder could be something other than public HTML. So I would suggest that you go into your hosting account and figure out what that particular host calls this folder. So for Bluehost, I know that it's public underscore HTML. Now, all these folders with inside public are either folders I've manually created or they're folders of domain names that I've purchased and installed WordPress on. So, I'm going to go into the blog launch blog and these are the core file folders and um, any f files within these folders that get automatically installed once you um, install WordPress onto your domain name. And these files also automatically get installed, but they reside here at the very root level of your domain, not within one of the folders. Generally speaking, the only folder you're going to be concerned with throughout your WordPress journey um, 99.9% .9 of the time is your WP content folder which you'll find your plugins, themes, those are the folders that you'll want to be able to go in to see what is being held into these folders. And then your uploads folder, this is where any media that you automatically upload through your WordPress admin panel inside your media center, those files get stored within the uploads folder. So these are the plugins that I've automatically installed and these are the themes that I've automatically installed into my WordPress install. The current theme I'm using for um, the blog launch is the focus theme, the blog launch blog. So say for an example, these are the images inside the images folder that automatically um, come with the theme, the Genesis child theme focus that I purchased. So say for an example um, the logo. I that's my blog launch logo. So when the theme was um, originally installed it was the default logo that came with the theme. So I wanted to upload my own logo but as you will notice later on in your WordPress journey and your blogging journey. When you go to upload a header graphic inside your WordPress admin panel, which is the easiest way for most non-techy people, it'll automatically generate across the full length of your WordPress blog, which is generally speaking 960 pixels long. Sometimes you want to just use a smaller one that will fit um, part way in it will fit nice and neat in the upper left hand corner um, of your blog and you cannot upload that through the admin panel so you do have to learn how to access your root directory and how to access your files so what I did is I went ahead and sized my 
logo in Photoshop the way that I wanted it to be and I found the file within my folders inside my documents where I stored my logo and I simply drag it and drop it into the images folder of the child theme that I chose to use and my a logo will appear nicely inside my new blog. So that is it in a nutshell. That is how you open FileZilla, log in to FileZilla, find the root directory of your blog and learn what the folders are and how easy it is just to drag and drop files and overwrite the existing files that are there in your WordPress install.